Hi folks, this is Deborah from DebraBroncho.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and set up simple social icons. So first let me scroll down to the bottom of my page and show you this is what they look like. Um, it doesn't have to be square, you can change it, and I'll show you how to do that in the back end. Um, but these are the five social media accounts that I use primarily. Okay, so let's go to the back end, and if it's not already installed on your website, you're going to need to install it. So you're going to go to Plugins, Add New, and then you'll type in Simple Social Icons right there. Hit Enter. And here it is right here, Simple Social Icons. It's by Nathan Rice. I already have it installed, so you see the installed uh, word here. But if you don't have it installed, it'll say install now. You just click on that button. It'll take you to a page that asks you to activate it. So go ahead and activate it. After you've done that, you'll go to Appearance, Widgets. And when you scroll down, you'll see it, Simple Social Icons. It's alphabetical order here. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So it's in my footer and here you can put in a title you can say something like follow me or whatnot I just left it blank because I just like the way it looks blank uh, I do recommend that you have these links open in a new window so check that that way when somebody clicks on your social media account they won't be taken away from your website they'll just it'll open a new window you can change the icon size uh, the icon border radius I have it set to zero so it's a square but you can set it to whatever you want. The higher you go, the more rounded those corners are going to be. You can get to the point where you actually have it be a circle. Um, 50, if you have your icon size set to 36, 50 uh, will pretty much give you the circle, maybe even a little less. All right, so you can align it left, center, or right. Then you have choices for your font color. You're going to need to know the hexadecimal code here, but all Fs is white. So my font color is white when it's not being hovered over, and when it is being hovered over, it's also white. Now, on the background, you'll see the background color is gray, and then when you hover over it, it's actually that bluish-greenish color. It's one of my favorite colors. So now you'll see down here there is a whole lot of social media accounts that you can add. And for me, I only have five of them that I you know, normally use. There's some newer ones like Blog Lovin', uh, and you're just going to put in the address for your social media account. Uh, for your email, you can put in your email address. You you have to start it off with mail to and colon, and then whatever your email address is. Or if you wanted to go to a page, like maybe a contact page, then you would just put in the URL for the contact page. Okay, so you can see what it has. Blog, love, and dribble, email, Facebook, Flickr, on and on and on and on. So once you're done with that, you're just going to click Save. And once you've clicked Save, you've set up your social media icons. This is what you'll see at the bottom. The more you have, obviously, the more buttons you're going to see. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.